Hello there. Probably didn't even sound like the Star Wars reference, but it's fine. Anyway, what we're gonna be doing today, if you don't know, 3D printers can be kind of loud and obnoxious, especially if you have something like a CR10 or an Ender 3. I know a lot of Pruces have silent mode and that would be really nice, but unfortunately it doesn't come on the models I have. If you don't know what they normally sound like, here's a little clip. So I did some research to find the best way to silence them without actually taking the control box apart, and a lot of people were saying to use stepper motor dampers. Hello, this is Editing Emily from the future. Just wanted everyone to know that this is actually a tutorial video, but that does not mean my whole channel is going to become a tutorial channel. So for those of you who like the Iron Man stuff, don't worry. There will be plenty more of that. This is just something that I had to do anyway and thought I would record how I did it. Now, I bought this pack off of Amazon. It came with six of these dampeners. I don't know if it'll focus but it came with six of these, a pack of screws, and a little screwdriver. Obviously, you're gonna have to have an Allen pack to take all the other screws apart, but that's assumed you have it because it normally comes with a printer. Do be careful though. I did look at a couple of these and I had one or two that were actually kind of warped. This little piece up here should be straight. Both of them should be straight across. I only used two for the other printer. I put one on the X and one on the Y axes. I didn't put any on the Z just because it's hardly ever moving. So the first dampener we're gonna put in is at that stepper motor all the way in the back that controls this belt. But first, in order to get to that, we're gonna have to loosen it. So first I'm marking where this bracket actually was so I know how far to pull the bracket back when I put it back on after I'm done. I'm gonna take a three millimeter Allen wrench and loosen these two screws on both sides. So once these screws are out, I'm actually gonna push up on this bracket just to make the belt loose. Now we can pull this belt over top the back servo so we can unscrew it here. We're going to take a two millimeter Allen wrench and undo these four bolts. Now that we got the stepper motor off, we're going to remove these two set screws so we can pop the gear off from the shaft. You may not even need to remove these completely. I know on the other one, my printer was so old, I had to take them out and pull the gear off pretty hard. But as long as it moves up and down like that, because we're going to have to readjust how high this goes. So the orientation of this does actually matter. One of these sides will have tapped holes with threads and the others won't. So the side without the tapped holes needs to be flush with the motor. So we're going to put this side flush with the motor and screw in the two holes that are flush with the motor. Next, I'm going to take the little screws provided and connect the frame of the printer and the damper. Next, we need to reattach this gear, so we have to make sure that at least one set screw is flush with the flat side of the shaft. So I'm going to turn the shaft until I have a flat side up and match this screw hole with that. It's also helpful to have a straight edge or something just to be able to make sure that this gear is in line with this bearing. And again, you're going to use your 2mm Allen wrench. Next, we're gonna take this belt and loop it back around the gear. Now we're gonna make sure this is looped back around its bearing and pull this bracket back down too. Making sure it's straight, we're gonna take our three millimeter Allen wrench and put these screws back in. All right, so that's one axis done. For the other one, we're gonna have to also loosen this belt. We're gonna take a three millimeter Allen wrench and loosen these two bolts. So this is the motor we're gonna be working on. So after we loosen that belt, we're gonna to have to remove this case. Some people don't have a full plastic case. Some people just have four pegs, but for some reason, I've always had the little plastic case. And if you peel the little sticker that's on there off, it'll give you access to four screws. And with a two millimeter Allen wrench, you should be able to remove these. This also contains the switch at the end, so you'll need to keep all this intact. We can take the belt off the motor and slide it out. And with the same 2mm Allen wrench, we're going to loosen these set screws again. Thankfully, didn't have to completely remove these. It slides pretty easily just by loosening them. We're doing the same thing here. Going to take the non-threaded side of the dampener, put it flush with the motor, and screw these two screws in. Also, remember to position the gear in the right spot and to tighten the set screws back. 
So this is where it sort of gets a little complicated. We're going to have to hold this motor in here, wrap the belt around the gear, and then place the box on top of it, somehow managing to screw the screws into the upper side of the dampener. So instead of using the small screws that came with the kit, like we used in the last stepper motor, we're going to utilize the ones that came in this little plastic case to connect the dampener. So now we're going to come back over to the other side of this belt to retension it. I'm going to make sure it's level and also push it out this way enough so that there's tension in it, but it's not overly tight. Then I'm going to use the three millimeter Allen wrench to retighten them. And now if we move the X axis, can barely hear it, go back, move the Y. Anyway, I hope that was at least somewhat helpful to people it was applicable to. If anyone else has any other tutorials and stuff like that they'd like to see, let me know. It could be 3D printing related, it could be building related, anything like that. So now finally all that stuff is done, we can get to work on some Iron Man stuff again. So all I have to print left are the neck, the boots, the neck and the boots. That's it. Huh. After that, I'll have the knee hinge to redesign and reprint which I have already redesigned, just needs to be reprinted. And I'm also gonna design a brace for the chest in the back. Now, hopefully by the next video, I'll have a whole lot more Iron Man progress to update y'all on. But until then, bye.